Good morning, Pipe Pipers, and welcome to art. Remember, this week is all about Easter, and I'm wearing my Easter bonnet. Now, if some of you weren't able to make an Easter bonnet, I put something online for you. It's the bunny ears. So mom and dad can download this for you. Now, all you have to do is cut it out, color it, and put it together. So all I did was use simple crayons from my house. I made a brown bunny and I colored it. Then this piece is the band. I taped it together. And then all you're gonna do is measure your head and then you can tape it or staple it. Now, one trick, my ears didn't stay up straight. So I looked around my house for a piece of cardboard and I cut out two little pieces and taped them together so my ears would stay up straight. Here you go. Bunny ears, doesn't that look cute? Now remember, my bunny's brown, but your bunny can be any color you want. You can use my template or you can use construction paper. The main thing is I want you to have fun. So if you didn't make a bonnet, here's your Easter bunny ears. Now, once your ears are made, I'm sure you're gonna be decorating eggs this week. Now, some of you have family traditions and that's fine. But if you're looking for some new ways to do eggs, I'm gonna tell you about them today. Now, for the little guys, it's very hard. So, one way for them is have them color the egg the way you normally do, and then you can put stickers on for them. That would be lots of fun. Now, for the intermediate group, I have a special thing for you. You can color your egg or leave it and then use sparkles. Now, I love sparkly glitter. What you do is take your glue and put glue all over your egg. Now, you wanna make sure that your glitter is not all over your house. So the best thing to do is a Ziploc bag. Put your glitter in the Ziploc bag, put your egg in the bag after it is covered in glue and just shake. And then when you take it out, you're gonna have a glitter egg. Now for pre-Ks, another way to make eggs is before you color them, you're gonna do rubber bands. Now, just look around your house and find all different sizes of rubber bands. And then you're gonna put them all over your egg, as many as you want, it doesn't matter. Then, after you have the rubber bands on your egg, you're gonna put it in the coloring. Once the egg is completely dry, then you're gonna remove the rubber bands and then your egg is gonna have the designs of the bands. Another simple way, but it's fun. Now, if you have a great idea how to color eggs, please email or text them to Kathy and Max to let me know. And please take pictures of all your colored eggs and send them to us. I would love to see. Have a wonderful Easter. We miss you. Bye.